Okay. Um, you get to the tavern. Like I said, it's pretty busy. Uh, if you're looking for information, go ahead and give me diplomacy checks for that. Subtract a... No. <laughs> okay. Then don't look for information. Or... Not Jeb, I'm anyway. I'm just here to drink. Uh, 27. All right. Hmm. You hear a number of rumors... Um, a lot, one of the most popular ones flying around. The the major buzz in the social circles around here is that Sir Cornelius Eichenboom, famed knight and heroic uh, paladin, uh, very popular in the region, is seeking a wife, and many of the young women all across the valley are uh, so swooning and dreaming of being a part of that. Hmm. <laughs> so, you know... <laughs> It's got a lot of the other men, you know, you know that that uh, that kind of jealousy that fully a grown adult men got of Justin Bieber because girls liked him. <laughs> sure, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you see that attitude, uh, uh, kind of like mm, uh, stupid paladin. Kind of thing. This is a local uh, paladin, or at least close enough to this this trading port for that to be a thing. Oh uh, no, no, he is basically like one of the. He's the he is the right hand of of the. Uh, of the the count. He's oh, a in famous Green, man in, Green, in Greenville. Yeah. Hmm. 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 So these country women are thinking that they're going to get all gussied up and go out there and find themselves a. Well, there's a lot of joking about it, but you know, you could all a lot of that joking is done in that kind of you know, <laughs> wouldn't that be funny? Unless. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you don't play the lottery, you can't win. Yeah. (laughs) Whenever the lady hears somebody saying something like that, she makes a point to scoff loud enough for them to hear. Oh, okay. (laughs) She's she's mean like that. I'm not going to befriend anybody next to you then. (laughs) No, 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 no. no. I'm the girl everybody loves to hate. You're sitting around being a mean girl at the bar. Got it. (laughs) Quietly, hate seething just under the surface. Um, you also hear a uh, rumor, like amongst some of the men you, you, you talk to, that there has been um, strange doings uh, over in um, in the ca- in the cavern, or not cavern, the chasm. Apparently, some of y'all's works seem to have um, tri- trickled out. They don't know exactly what's going on, but they they tell you that they found some mysterious murders outside the woods that are no one can find any explanations for. Uh, Just a whole fuck ton of naked halflings. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Like, uh, remember when you guys were ambushed by the assassins from uh, the Duchy of Limro? Mm-hmm. Like, that's still a kind of a, a bit of a buzz around here. Like, uh, that was like, in, outside the village. The original village. Yeah, the first village. But yeah, the, it's come this far. Like, the, this, like there's like some, some, some force out there murdering men. That's the only area that we murdered people in. Uh, they are, and, and also they've been. Uh, you you know that you've been spotted, uh, at least by a few. They said they've seen large creatures flying uh, by moonlight, but we don't know what it was. Some say it's dragons. Some say it's wyverns. Others, with a little bit more on the ball, say no, no, no. It wasn't nearly that not that big. So you know that your movements have at least been observed, but. It doesn't seem to be raising alarm. It's just more like the local hubbub more than anything. It's probably but, weather probably weather balloons, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> weather flumps. Um but beyond that, there isn't that much uh much in the way of rumors around here that are of interest to you guys. A lot of it's mm-hmm. just local gossip. Can we spread counter rumors? Sure, go ahead. Uh, make a bluff check if you're there. Okay. Oh, you, Jeff, you came now too, huh? I, you I, told, staying... you I, I told you I was. I said that was a good idea. Yeah, I thought you meant for us to leave. <laughs> <laughs> so he could fart up the cabin in peace. Yeah, yeah like y'all go ahead and go. I'm going to rub one out and go to sleep, <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> All right, so yeah, go ahead and give me a bluff check to start your rumors and tell me what those rumors are. All right. For the record, though, Jeb is still standing at the door waiting for anybody to open it in the Sylvan Retreat, if you cast that already. <laughs> yes, I have. It lasts for 12 hours. 
that I am staying there waiting to stab anyone who pops into the door, unless it's one of y'all. Sure. Uh, 24 on my bluff check. All right. And uh, I'm going to start spreading rumors of fairies and just flights of fantasy type stuff where right then and while everybody's drinking, it sounds plausible. Mm -hmm. But like later on, it's like, wait a second. Okay. This is all stupid stuff. And then they, I want them to basically think, okay, if this was stupid, then all the stuff, other stuff they're hearing is stupid too. Uh, so, oh, psyops, that's what you're doing. Yep. All right. So, yes, you begin spinning some elaborate and fairly believable lies around about the, the, the mystical uh, creatures of the forest. And uh, you get a lot of uh, en enwrapped listeners because everyone loves a good yarn. Meanwhile, um, you find a couple of, um, uh, not you, uh, not you, uh, Toker. You find a couple of, um, potential marks for your usual scam. Mm. Uh, one is a, one is a, uh, human merchant, uh, with a foreign accent. Um, but you see that he keeps going back to a table with a, a lot of other men that have a similar foreign accent. And then you find... Oh, someone who's obviously a local, but is drinking alone, uh, despite his uh, obvious affluence. You always catch more fish with a bigger net, so I'm gonna doll myself up like one of, like a local girl, like seeing what they wear. Okay. Uh, and I'll keep myself in that kind of vein. Okay. And then uh, make my way over to the table. And uh, begin the flirting and then pick it up on who's, you know, doing what, what business they're into. And then from there, I'll narrow down who it is I want to rob. Okay. Uh, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me a bluff and a diplomacy. And a diplomacy? Okay. Yes. So the bluff check is a 30. All right. And the diplomacy, come on. Hey, 27. Okay. Um, you figure out which one is the fattest and most gullible, or the, you know, has the fattest person and is probably the most gullible of the lot. Mm -hmm. Loneliest. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's pr it, it, you're guessing he's the caravan master of them at first, but then when you start questioning them, you realize that um, it's somebody financing a, uh, a, a hunting party. They say they're here for a hunt. No, hunting what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a flirty tavern witch. Uh, the the man you're talking to, the the, the wealthy one, says, "Well," and then the other men uh, give him kind of shush him down. Like, mm. <laughs> well, it's not something we can talk about. But uh, tell me more about yourself, my dear. Oh, uh, I you know I, I'm from the town across the way, and I'm traveling to. Um, to Greenvale because I you know if you don't play the lottery you don't win and maybe I could fancy myself a, a paladin you know who's going to take <laughs> care of me when I'm old blah 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 because these weak little fingers blah de dee do all right yes yeah, so you have this guy completely enraptured and I'm, uh, I am the woman that Mahogany's character really hates <laughs> <laughs> all bubbly and optimistic yeah. just a person that's in love with life and has a uh, a positive outlook to the future, sensual <laughs> but not not filthy. Uh, <laughs> not realizing that it's him, I make sure to let her let her know that. Oh, it's such a pain to not never have to shave these legs, these long beautiful legs of mine. I never have to shave them. It's such a such a pain. Childhood accident, terrible fire. I'm sorry, my dear. <laughs> 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 wink wink <laughs> what's that thick ankles nothing light mustache <laughs> well you can see that none of those things are true so whatever you have to tell yourself to make yourself feel better <laughs> fair okay. enough and no I don't wear any makeup this is all natural beauty <laughs> All right. So yes, um, you you certainly arouse interest in this weird crossbar cat fight for a moment, and then the then your your mark says, "Is this woman bothering you, sweetheart?" No, oh, not at all. Especially if we plan to leave soon. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. You sink the hook, and he is more than willing to leave with you. Mm. He's like, well, I have a room in the end across the way. So, oh, I was about to get a room there myself. Maybe you can help me with the details of acquiring a place. <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys nip out, uh, leaving behind the other two guys in the bar. Um, his, his compatriots uh, give him a lot of like, <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, uh, mm. uh, kind of like razzing. Yeah. Because he leaves with you. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Say no more. Say no more. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And uh, <laughs> leaving just uh, Zarius and Lady outside in the bar, uh, I'm just going to say that uh, Z- uh, Togert, this fellow is not a strong fellow, and he's not particularly bright, and it, it's not really much of an effort for you to overpower him. Just tell me how you do it. Oh, I, uh, when we get him back to the room, I immediately color spray him and, and take my time. <laughs> I <laughs> knew it was coming. <laughs> color spray. <laughs> color spray. All right, um, yes. Your color spray knocks him out immediately. And then loot and rob him. And um, I, I don't want to leave a trail of bodies at this point. Um, so, I mean, unless he was... The only thing that pissed me off is if he lied to me and he's not actually got money and shit. If he's, oh, if no, he's poor, he's, I, might, he, I might rob him. He has him. money. Okay. Uh, make a quick uh, perception check. Uh, 21. All right, let's see. Uh, yes, yeah, so you find he has a uh, lockbox hidden under the bed, and it contains 11, 12, uh, 1,500 gold pieces in it. Ooh. Also, you find a, uh, a pair of wanted posters. Ah. Uh, One to pick... One depicting um, a, a rather familiar-looking regal figure wanted in connection with um, the the brutal regime of of, of Lemro, Zarius. Uh, what's your character's last name again? Bloodthorn. Yeah, Zarius Bloodthorn. The second one uh, <laughs> is notorious uh, witch and trafficker of de- with demons. Uh, uh, real name unknown, alias the lady outside. They both have a reward of 10,000 gold on their heads. Mm, mm. And they were in the bar. But Zarius was the only one undisguised, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Huh. Mm-hmm. Mm, so I'm piecing together that these are the guys that, these are what they were hunting, my two companions. So let's make Zarius seem more ruthless and cunning. I'm going to take his wanted poster and put it on the man's chest. And I'm sure there's a knife or something around, right? Oh yeah, there's a um, hmm. a letter opener on on a little lectern in the in the uh, suite. So I will pin Zarius's wanted poster to the guy's neck by jabbing the the, the knife through the guy's neck in the poster. Okay, so it's just he's dead on the floor with Zarius's poster there. All right. Um, I will then go into my uh, drunken hobo disguise um, and and try and sneak my way out of this room. And instead of going back to the tavern, I will keep a watch for when Zarius leaves and see if these people follow him or any of our other companions. All right. Uh, you, you nip outside and take up your, your hobo position watching the tavern. How late do you guys stay at the tavern? Uh, leave about an hour before close. Okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Before I leave, I make sure to hit the prettiest girl in there with the swine hex. So she starts to look all piggy in the face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Um, you, le- you leave You leave. some poor girl shrieking in terror as her, her, her face deforms. <laughs> as you walk out. Uh, giving a satisfied belch from all the beer you swilled while being do, um, snotty to people. Uh, <laughs> do we still have the stones that let people communicate over a long distance? I don't think you ever had anything like that. Jeff had that whisper spell. No, yeah, Jeff had, no, 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 no. We had coins. Sorry, no, not stones. No, hold on. I had one thing. I got a collar from my familiar, but we also had another object 
that we were given, it was two coins. Yes, that's mm. right. That were supposed to be allowed you for long distance communications. That's right. And we were going to leave that with the wizard and them so we could oh. communicate with them. That's right. On a regular basis without having to summon them all the time. Mm. Gotcha. So, short story Jeb does not have one of those. Correct. No. He's just standing at the door, rapier yep. poised. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, um, you guys head out into the streets and begin heading uh, towards uh, the edge of town. Uh, after you, after they disappear from your vision, Tugger, mm-hmm. um, you see the uh, the knot of um, foreign men come out. And uh, you see one of them, like, um, bend down. And you see his face distort slightly. His snout elongates. And he starts sniffing the ground. And <laughs> uh, yes, I knew it was him. Come on, boys. Let's find him. That reward's going to make us wealthy men. And they begin heading off towards the, um, the edge of town as well. I wanted to keep the the wanted poster of the lady just so okay. we have that information. Everything else was the same except for the photos, right? And yes. Okay. Uh cool. Do the wanted posters say who is offering the reward? Uh yes. Uh once they uh begin but heading you don't, that- no. <laughs> Once they begin heading that way, I will uh, cast invisibility on myself and begin to uh, follow them as close as I feel would be safe until they start to make a move. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, you follow them as close as you feel to be safe. Um, make a... Sorry. Some fucking gnat. Anyway, uh, make a perception check for me. Uh, 19, unless it's a trap. All right. Um, as, you, as you're following, uh, this is fine. As you follow them along, you can see that they are moving in the direction of your your encampment. They are pretty set on their task. However, one in the rear occasionally keeps looking back over his shoulder and uh, whiffing at the air as if he can smell something. Then he, he turns and catches up with the crew. They haven't made you yet, but... You know that they might be able to if you get more down if you get downwind of them. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, back at the camp. All right, so you two arrive back at the camp. The door opens. Jeb stabs you. You're both dead. <laughs> <laughs> Damn gnome. Halfling. <laughs> Goblin. <laughs> well, with the head of the skies, you can look like whatever you want. A hoblin. Small. I look like a, a kobold. A gnomling. <laughs> but the furry kobold, not the scaly kobold. Yeah, the cool, cool kobold. Um, so, yeah, you guys arrive back at the uh, encampment. And um, basically, a short time later, uh, make perception checks for me, everyone, in the uh, enclosure. 17. 25. 25? 22. Okay. Uh, 25 and 22. As you guys are settling down and uh, waiting for um, your companion, uh, for, why do I keep forgetting your character's name, Tucker? Jesus. Valric Dalmos. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. As you're waiting for Valric to return, you hear sounds outside. Uh, at first, you might think is Valric uh, moving around outside the encampment. Maybe he's lost sight of it again. But you realize, you two both realize that there's multiple uh, people sniffing around outside the the, uh, the door, literally sniffing around outside the door. You hear both voices and snuffling. So, um, as soon as they go inside, the door is still closed, right? Uh, yeah. Um, that's when I'll act. Um, so between. Where I'm standing and them, the the bad guys, how many of them are there? Let's see, there are three, five. Okay. Um, I will cast Loathsome Veil 
Um, so on my side of this veil, everything's fine. But on the other side of the veil, the spell creates a transparent veil of shifting multicolored strands of light that form into endlessly varied and alien patterns. Uh, one side of the veil, chosen by me, is harmless. The other side of the veil twists and turns into impossible shapes, affecting any creatures within 60 feet who view the veil. Uh, so the, the veil can affect a maximum of 24 hit dice of creature. But remember, each of those hit die those creatures have is minus my charisma of four. Um, and then they get a saving throw. And from there, we get to figure out what happens to them. Okay, like how 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 are you casting this on on it's them? A, or? It's a wall. So between me and them is now a um area of effect. Uh, it is forty feet long and twenty feet high. Wall between us pops up, and it's the middle of the night. So all these bright colors just pop up behind them. Okay. Um, and if they turned, if they're within sixty feet, which when I cast they will be. All right. uh, when they turn around to see what those colors are, then we get to see what happens to them. All right. Um, suddenly, you guys hear uh, in the in the in the enclosure, you you suddenly hear uh, magic words being shouted out through the cracks of the door. You see shining lights, and then uh, we'll do the, the the save thing. What what do we do now? Uh, it's a will save for each of them, and we'll it's uh, DC twenty. DC twenty. Guys, have a little save. Uh, this isn't a fear effect, is it? Uh, no, it is okay. just mind affecting pattern. So, natural one, natural one, <laughs> six. <laughs> all right, one natural 20, the rest are all fails. <laughs> um, had their hit die minus four, would that be four hit die or fewer, or eight hit die or fewer? Okay. Uh, the creatures are nauseated for 1d4 rounds and sickened for 2d4 rounds after that. All right. So they are nauseated for just one round, but then they are sickened for three, five. Then they're sickened for five. Okay. All right. Let's do an initiative then. Um, and the one guy who rolled a natural 20 is unaffected? Unaffected. Okay. Save or suck. But now I'm on the other side. I'm visible, but I'm on the other side of a veil, so they still can't see me. Yeah. But you are basically on <laughs> standing out in the open with a bunch of werewolves. <laughs> they will find you eventually. Well, they're nauseated for a round at least. But, and you can clearly see that's what they are, by the way. Yeah. They have they have they are all in hybrid form. Um, gotta uh gotta run, take a pee real quick, be right okay. back. Sure. 21 is my initiative, though. All right. Careful, when y'all open that door, you'll have to save, too. <laughs> right. Okay. All right, so, Valric, what was your initiative? Um, 14. 14. And Jeb had 22. Zarius? 21. Hmm? 21. Oh, okay. Uh, and Lady Outside? Oh, I forgot to roll. Um, only eighteen. Eighteen. Oh, must have rolled low. Yeah. Uh, let's see. And Warwolves. Oh, wait a minute. Twenty-one because that's an eight out of five. Okay. Sorry. Hmm. One. And I'll, I'll put the unaffected one on a different initiative, just for variety. <laughs> wow, he's even worse than the sick ones. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, woman. Oh, sorry. They're nauseated as long as they can see the veil. Oh. <laughs> that makes more sense. Um, uh, concentration plus one round per level. And I took that feat so I could move it. <laughs> Maybe you can move it so it doesn't face the entrance. Yeah, that's that's the plan. Um, I can move it, you know, to swirl around behind the entrance or to be between the entrance and y'all pointing my direction when I move further away. All right, let me let me go to the uh, 
every time somebody starts a sentence and then stops in the middle of a sentence, I think my internet goes out again until I see you moving. Oh no, your internet. I see you smiling. <laughs> I couldn't stop myself from smiling. Damn it. All right, so that green dot is your, the doorway to your hovel, your hole. Okay. Uh, let's see. Toker, if you can draw a line where your um, where your uh, spell takes effect. Where do you draw the line? Okay. <laughs> Let me change the color. That's hard to see. Uh, how do I change the color? Uh, you just... Uh, the, it's that black dot on the end. Or rather, whatever the color of the dot on the end is. Oh, there we go. Wrong end. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, and it's 40 feet. Oh. Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, cool. All right. Jeb, you're first. That so. is uh, surprising. So <clears throat> hearing that uh, there's some magical crap going on outside, Jeb is going to, in true goblin fashion, stealth, and then open the door. All right. All right. You open the door. Suddenly you are blasted with um, beams of power. However, you're immune to nauseation, nauseated because you're undead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, I believe that's all I can do, right? Open the door. Open the door and stealth. Okay. You open the door and stealth in the doorway? Like, can how I move are out? You st- I, guess, I guess I could double move out. I mean, if it's an action to open the door, you still have your full move. Right. So I can get on one, somebody. Okay. And they're all nauseated. Except Where's the one, one that's not nauseated? Five. Well, difficult to tell that from your from you. You don't actually know that. Which one's not puking its guts out? Okay, that's a much better question. It's this it's uh the one uh, to your immediate right. And up, sorry, not immediate right. So right and up. This guy. Yeah, that's the one. I want to climb him. Okay. <laughs> you make it sound up. so erotic. <laughs> I, I run up to him. him and climb him. Is is he more than one size category larger than me or just one size category larger? Just one. Okay, so that's a 19, natural 19, plus 14, so 33. 33. Yeah, that'll do it. He has climbed. He has climbed. I'm all over him. (laughs) Okay. That's Um, that's my turn. 21, lady outside. I think you have the best initiative out of the two of you, right? I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Yeah, I think so. Um, Sorry. So what do I see outside? Like, what what happens? What's going on? It's a giant wall of constantly shifting, dizzying patterns. And you have to make a will save. But, okay, so like from inside the thing, Uh, what do I see? You see some of the light from the spell peeking through. It's difficult to see because of outside, because in order to look outside, you have to look outside where the wall can be seen, so. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Your options are basically see nothing or see the wall. Hmm. And she wouldn't know that that Valric can do this sort of thing. Have you cast a spell before, haven't you? This is the first time I've done Loathsome Veil, I think. Oh, okay. It's one of my new ones from this level. But you uh, did hear him shouting, so you might be able to roll a spellcraft to determine what it is. Can I That's roll true. a spellcraft? Sure, go ahead. What that is? That is uh, ten on the die for. 27. Oh, yeah. You you recognize the spell as a loathsome veil. It does yada, 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 yada. All right. Yada. So recognizing <laughs> that there is a loathsome veil, first of all, I'm going to let everyone inside, everyone inside know that that is what is going on out there and that I believe that it is probably Valric that is doing this. So... That's my forte. Uh, in doing that, in knowing that, 
I am going to... Hmm. Oh yeah, Jeb also shouted as he ran out. There's werewolves out here, five of them. Okay, so I know what's outside and I know what the spell is. So in in knowing that, I'm going to... This is the, the circle that you just made is the area that we're... Yeah, that no, are, the map out the underground area. I'm just gonna, okay. it's about that big, right? Cool. So I'm going to keep my eyes down. I'm going to keep my eyes covered and feel my way out. Does that make me move slower or anything? Uh, yeah, you yeah, move yeah, half you speed while blonde. Yeah, you move half speed while blonde. Okay. So I don't know. However far I can get going out and back. All right. Uh, so I guess I should put my pip on yeah, there for yeah. you. So uh, let's see. You can move half speed. You can double move back if you like. You could. You, you're guessing you're probably safe walking through those werewolves as they're currently retching pretty hard. They can't. Oh, okay. So if I think move. I can. Yeah. You can. All you. You can. You can hear like dog retching noises. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna use my. I'm gonna use my hearing to maybe help me get just there, just through the veil. Okay. Yeah. And... yeah they're all puking too. Does That's passing my... through the veil do anything to them? Does Going it? through it does nothing. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. On, once she's on this side, I'll, I'll be like, you can uncover your eyes now. All okay, right. Okay, cool. All right. That's my turn. Zarius. It's transparent, so we can still see through it. Is it my go? I'm sorry. No, Zarius. This is Zarius. <laughs> Zarius is coming out. I rolled a 27 on my save. We'll save. All right. Good. Um, I am going to take a move action here and actually um, start my song. Okay. What you singing? My fury. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, it sounds happy, but I'm angry. <laughs> it's me. You're trying to inspire rage. Mm, bop is the way. <laughs> Handsome. <laughs> <laughs> or or achy breaky heart. Oh, oh god, that'll do it. That would just suck. Rage. That's a greater rage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Boot scootin' boogie. Boot scootin' boogie. She's an eight. She's not. She's a ten. I know. She got pretty red lips. Blonde hair, blue eyes. I don't know that many lyrics. That "Give Me the Beach Boys" song that'll inspire the rage in me. Yeah. I fucking hate that song. Wanna get lost and get fucking hate home. that song. I fucking hate that song. <laughs> <laughs> I love my rendition though. Grab your feet, boy, and don't let go. I want to just load and you do your whole Hi. All right. Um, uh, Valric, it's your turn though. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Um, I don't have to move my veil since the only person who it could affect and it'd be a problem is now on the, the safe side of it. <laughs> so, um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm going to move up to stand behind the lady and then continue to concentrate on the spell so that the other four will, werewolves stay nauseated. Okay, cool. Um, let's see, 11. These werewolves are wretched. Uh, one that attempts to... God damn it, sir. There you go. I did the same uh, thing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Terrence. Yeah. Move me over to the one that um, Jeb zone. All right, there you go. Uh, a couple of them, let's see if I move. Yeah, it covers their move speed. A couple of them flee into the hovel. Uh, one tries to flee, be, uh, move beyond it, like just a, a away from the uh, the side of the, or actually he has to move up for that, wouldn't he? One, two. So yeah, he's, he's trying to get away from the, the, the view of the, the lights. This guy moves up. Uh, you can make an attack or opportunity on him, lady outside, as he tries to move through the. I will take that attack. Um, it's probably not going to hit. I forget what it does. It's just my melee with that. Uh, with tattoo my thing. tattoo, right? Yeah. What is it? I got to look at the spell. Hold on a second. All right. It might be my. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? 
I guess my spellcasting ability I add to it. Anime tattoo, there you are. Okay. I guess it's just the normal. It uses your intelligence to it attack. Does? Yes, it does. Yeah, yeah. Plus the relevant skill passing ability. Okay. So it's still, but it's a melee touch attack. So it's a 15 to hit his touch. Oh, uh, that'll do it. Yes. Score. And I think that's just D6 damage. Right? I was just looking at it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Sorry. D6? Yeah. Okay. D6 plus the relevant casting modifier builder. Awesome. So that is 10 damage, 10 damage. to him. <laughs> All right, you try to you hit him with your spell, uh, Tattoo. It's still a melee attack, though, right? Yeah, but it's, it's a melee attack. On, on type damage, too, for their deal. It's still magical. It's like, damn it, I gotta look again. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm sure these guys know faster than I do. They probably yeah. read the whole thing. All right, then yeah, you uh, you wound this thing pretty savagely. Meanwhile, over at uh, Climbing Dude Central. Um, <laughs> dude Climbing. Dude Climbing. All right. Well, there's more than 15. Uh, Jeb. Yes. Let's see what this guy has to hit with. Mm-hmm. I don't think a 12 gets you. Nope. Nor, nor do I think a 21 gets you. Not while I'm on him. But a 26? Nope. Not while no. I'm on him. Are you sure? 27. Okay. <laughs> All right. My my AC is 24 plus the how many ever sneak attack die I have while I'm on somebody. So okay. 27. Shouldn't have told you, because now that's what you're going to hit. I'm not Kevin. No, you're not Kevin. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Okay. Um, Tucker. Mm-hmm. Just to be just to be clear, uh, your AC is uh, lower than 23, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So you hear a snarl from behind you, something loping across the uh, the fields. Um, you see a werewolf wearing this, the, the rich business attire of the man you stabbed in the neck earlier. He says, miss me, sweetheart, and he lunges at you, critically hitting you. Ow. Um, so with his bite attack, uh, for, uh, let's see, six, 12 damage. And the crit- the critical effect it drew was <clears throat> disembowel, double damage, one d four con damage, and one d six bleed. Holy shit! Awesome. Youch. All right. So con damage, uh, three, and the bleed is mm. three. Also, I need you to make a fortitude save. Only we had known they were werewolves. If only I'd been allowed, I don't know, a perception check to hear a charging werewolf. You were earlier when I asked for a perception check. You didn't hear him sneaking up on me. You just said he was charging me and screaming at I mean, I wouldn't be flat footed. It still hit me, but. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a 11 fortitude but, save. All right, cool. <clears throat> was that a sixth one? Yes, that is a sixth one. Let me get it. Let me get a pit. All right. Now, now we're cooking with gas. Let's see. <laughs> Top of the round. Wait. Jeb. Yeah. Jeb. Jeb's going to stab the guy who he's on. All right. Remember, you're, we're flanking. We are flanking. Which is good so. news because you'll need silvered weapons to hurt these guys or mithril. Yes. Just to hurt them or to bypass their DR? To bypass, bypass their DR. DR. Okay, okay. Because I was going to say, ooh, that's bad. All right, so this is plus two for flanking and plus two for your raging song. Um, to 25. Uh, hits. Awesome. I was very concerned. <laughs> Uh, right, so this is going to be plus nine. That's a good critical, Jesus. Oh my God, that one's been a long time. 25 damage. 
25 Ooh, damage. Not silvered or mithril. All right, so minus some damage. You do a significant portion of damage to him, but you feel like his tough, uh, supernaturally tough hide uh, absorbed quite a bit of it. Uh, let's see, Jeb, and we're at Lady Outside. Lady Outside. Uh, so I rolled a 17, so I passed my cast defensively check All right. for this one, and I will require one fortitude save. One fortitude save. From, From the God one right it. beside me. Natural one. Uh, <laughs> lovely. Lovely. Just making sure. Yeah, I don't have to make a melee touch attack or anything. Cool. Um, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So fortitude save gives it... So it takes four points of damage, two points of dexterity damage, and it's staggered for a round. All right. Um, mm-hmm. And then... From there, so yeah, this is flesh worm, flesh worm infestation. Ooh. Ugh. <laughs> it's got to make a fortitude save every round for seven rounds. So I guess this was round one of that. Or else it takes that d6 and it takes two points of dexterity damage and staggered Jeez. for a round. If it doesn't make, if it makes a save, then it doesn't take the, the hit point or the dexterity damage. It's only sickened for a round. But... Yeah, that'll continue <laughs> happening for the next seven rounds. And I'm going to take, from there, I'm going to take a five-foot step back because that's the only thing that avoids an attack of opportunity, correct? Correct. Lovely. 21, Zarius. Uh, 31 to hit. That will do it. And 14 damage. 14 damage, all right. And that is with Mithril. Okay, then you finish this guy off. Uh, the werewolf is cut out from under you, Zeb. Jeb. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Valric. Sorry, no. Yes, Valric. I am going to five. Whoops. I am going to five foot step away from this fucking. Five foot step there. First off. And then, um, Loathsome Veil, let's see, hmm, that one will stay for, I'm going to stop concentrating on it, so it'll still stay up for seven rounds, but then I'm going to cast my second casting of it, um, to basically encircle me and the lady. Okay. Uh, so it is literally around both of us. All right. So I need the three new uh, saves. I get, well, I guess that one out there is still affected by the last one. It might still, but you might be affected again. All right. So they all need to make saves again. Uh, I got one. And, uh, God damn it. This. I'm just natural one all over the place tonight. Oh, uh, okay. One natural one, one thirteen, which probably doesn't do it, and one twenty-two. Well, I mean, who was who? Uh, let's see. Twenty-two is the guy that attacked the lady outside. Okay. Well, he couldn't attack her. Yeah, oh, he's, he's, he, he's staggered. He's nauseated for one round after looking at it. But he. Oh yeah. He came through it on his last round, so this round yeah. is still nauseated, so he wasn't able to attack you. And then it'll be sickened. Or, or... Yeah, then he'll be sickened for five rounds. All right, no, he didn't attack her. He just yeah. moved up to, he was just moved by, he, he basically moved into her space. She attacked him. I'm, I'm, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, good. So the, the guy that just attacked me is now nauseated. Okay. As long as he can see it. All right. Um, the, we're at the werewolves. The werewolves. Then I guess I'll take my bleed damage now that it's their turn. Okay, three. Or do you want to roll the d6, sir? Well, I'll let you roll it. Uh, I got a two. Oh, okay. Yay, good call. I would have rolled a <laughs> six. I know it. Because yeah. <laughs> that con dropped me down. Losing the three con dropped me down. I'm looking pretty, I'm not looking great. Well, I mean, your guts are hanging out, so you know. yeah. So now that they're all <laughs> nauseated, I can start healing myself. 
Uh, let's see. Um, right, the werewolves, those two, the two in the den are still recovering. Um, the ones on the outside, let's see, this guy's nauseated, you said, even though he made the save from the previous spell. Uh, this well, guy. No. So the one, the, the two that were out there already had failed. The one that can still see the the wall, which he can, stays nauseated because he can still see the wall. As well, even he, on the, even on the other side of it. No, no, no. On the as soon as he doesn't see it, then he's only nauseated for one round because that's what I, what I rolled on that D four. Okay, so that's what he's doing this round. Yeah. All right. So the other two who are sickened try to back away. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty. I know it's a confusing spell, but God, yeah, yes, that guy yes. failed the save, so he's just nauseated, right? The one that attacked me. Yeah. All he can do is move. Yeah. They're all nauseated this turn. Okay. So, uh, 10, 15, 20, 30. And this guy, this guy suddenly is like, ar, 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 ar. <laughs> I feel to... like the one that Jeb's on should have to take, it's should dead. have had to. Oh, that one's dead. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Until because Jeb's on top of him, his little pippy. All right. Uh, let's see. So then, then these guys go. Yeah, and we're back at the top of the round, which is Jeb. All right, Jeb is going to do a stunning dismount from the collapsed werewolf. Run up to this guy and Kill attempt. Uh, wait, it's a full round action to do a coup de gras, isn't it? It's just nauseated, man. Yeah, you can't coup de gras. Oh, he's not helpless. All right, well, and I can't really do enough damage to kill him without my silvered weapons, so Jeb's going to run up, and while he's been over Horkin, he's just going to jab him in the eyes with his skeletal fingers to attempt a dirty trick. Okay. 17, nope, nope, that's a three. So. I mean, he's been hit a couple times. Who knows how many points he's got? 14 CMD. Uh, no, that, you don't get it. Yep. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I've got improved dirty tricks, so that makes it a 15. No. <laughs> 16, 16. Jesus, no, I'm, also. I'm Kevin in over here. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Where are all these numbers coming from? Oh, I found a plus two in my pocket. Oh, here's one under my hat. Oh, what's that? I just got one in the mail. <laughs> We're really uh, lagging on Kevin this episode. <laughs> I feel like most of it was off, <laughs> off recording though. Uh, let's see. Um, that's that was Jeb. Uh, we're at you, lady outside. Suddenly, you're surrounded in a, you know, a protective corona of bullcrap. <laughs> <laughs> that bullcrap has just made two werewolves run like little bitches. Mm-hmm. See how great I am when we go against things that have brains? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, huh. I shall. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I am going to face the one that moved up into my area and I am going to unleash a powerful scream (laughs) and I will require one fortitude save right Uh, okay I failed alright so he is going to take one two use those alright that is 16 points of sonic damage. Okay, 16. All right, and I also failed the flesh worm thing, so that puts you over the top, and he's blasted back dead. Oh, yeah, Kasha. Let's see. Nice. 21. Serious. What is the radius on that spell now? Me? Yeah. It's 60, 60 feet. So Zarius has to make another save for it? Yeah, I meant uh, to draw. I meant to draw where it's just a box uh, pointing the other way. So he I was assuming that his other up. wall was still in front of it. Yeah. Oh, okay. He already made a save against the one pointed towards that. I just went to inside. Point one the other way. All right, you're going to, to fight the werewolves in the in the hole. Yep. Right, move inside. That only takes a move, so the werewolves are there. They're still recovering from their nausea, but they'll be active and ready to fight next round. They'll be sickened or, for five rounds. Well, you know, active yeah. and re- still yeah, yeah. ready to. They can still fight. 
Oh yeah, yeah. It's just minus two is dollar stuff. All right. But yes, uh, they they seem to be to re- recovering. What say? Twenty eight to hit. That will hit one. All right. Let's see. I like being evil. <laughs> 15, uh, Fifteen points of damage. Fifteen. You you have the mithril weapon, correct? Yep. Yep. All right. Fifteen. You slice into the thing. It lets out a yelp of pain. Like a good if I was playing a good character, I would have tried to warn y'all or confronted the people. I didn't do any of that. Valric, <laughs> it's your go. <laughs> I, I waited till they almost ambushed y'all to ambush <laughs> them. And I, I'm just so fucking giddy about it. I don't even care if I die after this. Uh, I'm going to heal myself so I stop bleeding. Um, so you took two damage for this round. But... Well, I took two damage on their turn, last turn, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. So, uh, yeah, heal myself for six. Uh, you stopped with the bleeding. Yeah, that's that's what I got it for. That's that's it. I'm not going to move or anything. I'm going to keep concentrating on the sp- on the new one. Uh, or no, I can't. So yeah, that one's the, the first one is down to six rounds. This one's down to seven. Right. And I heal myself. The werewolves go. The two werewolves in the den make their attacks at their penalties. They still have their swords. So. Wait, uh, does 24 get you? Zarius. 24 will hit me. All right, so one slash hits you and one bite hits you from two different uh, attackers. So um, the slash is a long sword. Why are my D8s? There you go. Uh, it does six damage to you. The bite. Uh, does five damage to you, and I'll need a fortitude save. All right, 17 plus let's see, oh, uh, 24. 24, okay, you're fine. Um, let's see, that's there goes this guy, um, basically runs off in the prairie going off here. This guy's also making a retreat, trying to get away from the thing. One, two, three. So, yeah. And it's back at the top of the brown. Jeb. Jeb sees that the two that would be harassing our squishier guys have run off into the wilderness. He's gonna. Did you leave the door open, Zarius? Yeah. Then Jeb is gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna close this for a discreet werewolf battle. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Jeb is gonna move through and try to get on this guy. Ooh. Goblin skeleton bashes through the door, scrambles <laughs> up a dude. It's got to be terrifying. I'm going to come at you like a spider monkey. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'm, I'm making all kind of clicky clacky noises because I choose to, to make it even creepier. Well, the two teeth chomping. Yeah, 29 to climb him. Oh, right, yeah, you got it. Yeah, and that's one movement. So then I'm going to attack. Eh, 22. 24. That's. Yep, 26. All right, and we are flanking again. Where's my big D4? Come on, biggin. <sighs> Disappointing. And uh, 15 plus 4, 19 damage. 19 damage. This is, is this the one, is this the one you slashed, Zarius? No, that was the second. That was the other one. All right. Sure. Uh, leaving those two up. Uh, let's see, that was Zeb. It's Lady Outside. The werewol- other werewolves that were still up have basically stumbled away from the, the blinding lights. Like, into- gone, gone? Uh, it's difficult to see, but you're you're guessing that they will probably cut into a dead run pretty soon. <laughs> okay, so I was gonna say I got the dark vision, so I can see for each of them are on just on the edge of your dark vision if it's sixty feet. It is sixty feet, indeed. So I'm just wondering if it's worth it to go after them. Well, you don't want to move out of the circle. 
<laughs> if I keep my back to it, is that not a problem? Or does that not count? If you're on the other game. side, you can see it. Unless you're blind, and then you can't see them, so. Okay. Well, then. You can hold your action, and I'll drop it if you want, but. Um... Are you, you, you've got that negative energy, what you need, and I don't think I have anything to help mm. you. I'm good. I'm not bleeding anymore. Okay. Well, then, yeah, I will hold my action until these things are gone. These, uh, crazy colorful walls are gone. There is. <laughs> um, let's see, 15 plus, uh, 28 to hit again. 20, 28 will hit. And six, three, six, 15 hit damage. <laughs> okay. Uh, then, yeah, you take this one down. Yes. Any other actions? Uh, that's only get one attack. Oh, okay. Then we're at Valric. Valric. I will dismiss these spells. Okay. Uh, that's free, right? To dismiss them? Mm, I believe. Yeah. Mm. Um, and then I will. Jeb killed one over here that was next to us, right? That's not one that ran off, right? Uh, the lady Ooh. outside killed one. Yeah. Lady yeah, outside I killed, killed one. Uh, mm-hmm. I will. I will go over to the one that she killed, and I will animate it. Okay. Uh-huh. Necromancy. And I reached in a touch and it, it just stands back up, mindless and ready to do my building, bidding, so it will be a zombie. All right. Uh, you get a werewolf hybrid zombie. Yo, mm. werewolf zombies are terrifying. <laughs> it's at this point that I remember that I've got a golem in my bag. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> it was at that point I knew I had a golem. <laughs> Lady outside, you held your action. All right. With my held action... I'm going to, I'm going to, if I move forward 30 feet, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, I still see that one that ran yeah. to the south of us. Mm-hmm. Towards, right. He's running toward the village, by the way. He's running towards the village, and I am going to cast in his direction. Do I have to roll for this one for Stone Discus? <laughs> yes. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Uh that is going to be to hit him with the stone discus is is it just a I'm just gonna say like a ranged attack. Twenty two. Twenty two will hit. Lovely. And that's gonna give him forty six to count as magic and silver. Oh, 6, 12, 18, 22 points of damage at the one that's yeah. running away. 22 points of damage. That was you the one him. that was injured earlier. Uh, no, this, that was the, oh yeah, you did stab him. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. Stab uh, him to death, supposedly. <laughs> the one that was running away towards the village, those to the south of us, yeah. So, yes, uh, then the 22 mm-hmm. damage you already had. Uh, yes, then you knock him out. Damn straight. Uh, but you were at the top of, no, we're at the, the, the last fleeing werewolf. He flees at, at, de- at a dead run into the wilderness, <laughs> basically ripping out of his clothes, becoming a full wolf and wolfing it. Ah. What a little bitch. <laughs> no, I mean, you guys are pretty powerful. Yeah, we, we just took out... Uh, four of his friends in 18 seconds five of his friends oh yeah yeah there's still one inside though oh is there okay he's so gonna four. die though mm-hmm. yeah. uh he tries to uh claw and bite you off of his head however he misses okay i guess that's my turn again yep mm. 22 to hit, 24 to hit, because I'm yep. flanking. Yep. And by the way, if you look up zombie werewolf, there are some terrifying images on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Shit damage. 10, 19 again. All right, he is still up. Um... 
And uh, your go, Zarius. Um, does an 18 hit it? It does. All right. Uh, 12 more points of damage. All right, and that finishes this guy off. You guys are basically surrounded with dead werewolves, one undead werewolf. Nice. <laughs> but, yeah, you're ready to settle down for a nice nap. What are you doing with these dead werewolves, incidentally? Well, well check them out. Make sure you got, they don't have anything on them. Yeah. Check their pockets. And are these the CR2 werewolves? Uh, no, these guys had extra uh, fighter levels. Uh, I'm not worried about fighter levels. Their, their hit die? Uh, their hit die was um, four. Four? Oh, okay. Um, then I might use my soul. Wait, is that third level? Uh, yeah, I can't do that again. With the exception of the the one that you, the leader guy. <laughs> he, he had a couple more. But. Hit die? Yeah. Which one did I animate? You hit the one that the lady outside killed. The, one, the flesh worm one. Oh. Yeah, so he's real gross. Yeah, well, I mean, I can save that body for tomorrow, and then I can animate that too. too. Well, I don't want to walk around with a bunch of zombies. Um, <laughs> we got a hole. It's full it's, already. It's, it's, it's already full. full. <laughs> well, the reason I'm asking is, like, I like the hand. I do. But when we open the bag, I have to cast Command Undead on it again, or it or might not attacked. be our friend. <laughs> um, so I might be looking to upgrade, get rid of the hand, um, get something that's got worse charisma. Well, I mean, these things are dead. I, you know, if I'm animating them, I never animated the hand. I just commanded. Oh, that's it. right. Okay. Yeah, they so, would be in complete control of these. Right. So, um, I might want to get rid of the hand and uh, animate these werewolves because these are higher level. These have a higher pit die, right? Right. So if this guy's got four hit die, you know, that's... that's one of them has... The one that uh, the lady outside killed with, uh, hit with the discus has six. Yeah. So that would effectively be... I'd have a four hit die zombie and then a six hit die zombie or skeleton, whatever I wanted to turn him into tomorrow. Well, uh, uh, why don't we go ahead and pull the hand out and uh, get rid of it? Hmm. I think we can take it, especially with goalie. There to assist. Or you can open it up. I can try to command it and then just tell it to go to the town to have fun. Now they can deal with it. <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad idea. All right. I, I like that idea. So we want to do that real quick then, or let me heal myself a little bit first, just in case <clears throat> things go poorly. <laughs> and, uh, and I got a question. Uh, if we skin these guys that you don't animate, uh, does it turn, is it like a blanket now, or is it just going to be a flappy skin? Is it going to turn back into human flesh? Yeah. Because I mean, now? Uh, actually, these are not cursed werewolves. These are natural werewolves. So Ooh. all their forms are their natural form. I see. Oh. So if, if these guys die in hybrid form, then that is the form they die. Oh, that's nice. You guys want wolf pelts? I don't. I want uh, <laughs> lesser restoration. <laughs> I'm sure you do. I lost three con, but we could do that after the hand thing. All right. Are you guys uh, busting the hand out? Actually, I do lesser restoration on him while he's doing that. Okay. okay. And he gets four points back. Perfect. <laughs> I rolled a four. Back to good. Man, Jeb, as soon as Jeb gets on somebody, it's just nasty. So as soon as the hand comes out, it's not going to be your friend. Uh, and I can hex it, right? It depends on how long it's been in there. Uh, it's been in there about uh, two weeks. You guys took two weeks off to make magic yeah, out of things. So, yeah. Um, what kind of, you need a will save? Yeah, it'll get a... Um, It might not be a... Uh, I was going to say, I can go ahead and give a hex. I can give a hex to lower its saves. It's a will save, yes. Yeah. So, so you want to hex it to lower the save, and then I'll right. immediately cast Command Undead on it. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, I can hit it with two hexes that will lower its saves by four. Yeah, but we don't have that kind of time. If you don't have that kind of time, if we put it, if we get far enough away from the hole. I mean, do I we know. want it to get a minus two, or do we want it to have a, a disadvantage? Mm. Which is the one that doesn't get a save against? I mean, it it has a save against it, all of them. Okay, like it's a will save. Just fail a lot. Everything. Is what's going on? That's what. That's where you're getting that idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's like I mean, I feel like if it's just the will save, then I can give it like minus four to will saves. Oh, but but that would be two have, different hexes. Some of them don't have don't have um, mind affecting. Okay, so the mind affecting one is the is the one that is that's um, that's the misfortune one. Yeah, so we can't misfortune it because it's immune to mind affecting. Okay, but I can do the evil eye, which would give it minus two to will saves. Yes. <clears throat> worth worth a shot. Yeah. And I wonder if swine is not mind affecting either, is it? Partially transform, effect transformation, mostly cosmetic, blah, 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 blah. Affected creature takes a minus two to will saving throws. Uh, yeah, so I can use both of those. But all right. So um, as soon as it comes out, I'll ask for a will save. Hey, and, uh, hey, you got the stats up for that, Toker? What's the... Uh... But save yeah, bonus for that. Yeah, uh, it's will save is plus six. Okay. Y'all want me to be ready to jump on it? Yeah. All right, I'll be ready. Right one. Okay. Uh, All right, so it fails and it has a minus two, two will saves. Okay. Uh, then I have six more seconds. I can give it another minus two. For well, well, I mean, if you're already you casting attack. hostile spells on it, then we're rolling this. Yeah. So okay. my my ready to action was command undead. Right, so save. I got a uh, minus two. I got a sixteen. Pretty sure that's a fail. Command undead DC eighteen. Oh, uh, you have commanded the hand once more. Look, Handy. Me and you have been through some shit, and deep down, I, I have feelings for you, but I can't get too attached. There's a town. Not far back this way, full of ignorant people that want to marry paladins and, you know, just idiots. They need some darkness brought into their life. They need a reality check. And I think you're the one to give them that hand up. To give them the finger. <laughs> give them a bunch of high so fives give in a the hug, face. And I'm like, you know, back that way is the way to go that way. Or... All right. Or I could have him do, oh, fuck, no, even better. The wolf that ran away, did it get hit at all? No. Fuck. It just got blasted with uh, the, the spell. Fuck. What, to get his catch a scent? His Go blood, later? did he have There's any, he didn't leave any blood behind, huh? No, no but he's got left plenty of vile. Vomit. Oh, vomit. I, vomit. I, I guess there is, yeah, some bodily fluids in there. Is there blood, though? Depends uh, on how hard he threw up. Well, there's only a couple rounds, but I'll roll percentile. No. If so, then I got a better better idea for him. All right, let's see. 10% chance, because uh, it's going to pretty cool. Uh, no, no blood. Oh. Just 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 tonight's beer and uh, pretzels. No, it's too bad. I could have given him that blood and marked the quarry, and then he knows exactly where it's at, and he could have hunted the wolf for us. <laughs> no. But instead, you're going to let him loose on some real down-to-earth farmers, real salt-of-the-earth people. You know, yeah. morons. <laughs> well, look, so the way I'm... <laughs> yeah. so the, way, the way I see it is, you know what? Fuck them, first and foremost. Oh, yeah, two, of course. These people came after us. They came after you two. Um, What's that? That's for some of her debt. <laughs> Now I'm explaining what happened. Um, so yeah, I stabbed that dude in the chest. He had, the, uh, uh, and then I show the one that's not attached to his chest. You and the lady are being hunted. I gotta be honest, the the amount on your head's pretty respectable. Um, how uh, how respectable? Just out of curiosity, I want to know what we're worth. I will click your clacks. You're already Quiet dead, you. so there's 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 no um. Yeah, I'm sure there's no bounty on me. And nobody knows what I look like, so uh, there's no bounty for me. But, but you two kind of stand out from time to time. Um, the hand's going back to cause some chaos, but if I think Actually, eventually... 
So there are numerous bounty on, bounties on you, but all the posters look different. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Altogether, I've got loads of bounties. Um, How would they that, even collect them? That one wolf escaped. It'll it it might tuck its tail in and and, and tell some people what happened tonight and let them, the bounties on your head will go up. But eventually, people will know that because they came after us from that town, the hand went after them, and that's the kind of renown I think we need. Um, to really up ourselves in the ranks of this black room fella uh, yeah. until we decide to be our own bosses. It's it's not about the money. It It's about sending a message. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I suggest yeah, we... Uh, any other quotes you want to do today? <laughs> if they pop into my head. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Sorry. Can you cast this hidden house thing again? Why would I need to? Because this was surrounded in blood and gore. <sighs> nope. In vomitus. All right, well. I am pressed to digitate myself for a clean spot. No, I know. That I don't, I'm not worried about it being clean. I'm worried about people walking by and seeing a field full of blood and well, gore. I mean, it's, we get up early in the morning and leave before this. Mm. I mean, most people are not going to be scouting this area around middle of the night and if, if anybody's yeah. got a shovel we could just you know I mean this is bar closing time yeah. all right yeah my- I got a zombie he'll stand watch I'm gonna go take a nap and turn one of these other fuckers into a zombie in the morning good night y'all <laughs> all right. I, I can also mm-hmm. keep a watch and you send the hand into the town mm-hmm. yeah all right to you, wreak the, havoc. the hand scampers off towards the village <laughs> Uh, as you guys are turning in for the night, you see, um, you hear, you, you hear in the distance uh, screams echoing through the trader's fork. There's that white noise I needed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's not it's not too long after that the first fires begin. Oh wait, one of those guys was our guys. Yeah. What? There was a there was a loyalist at the. Um, not the farrier, but the the pawn. Oh, shop. the pawn! Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't oh, matter please. now. Hopefully, he survives. Yep. But, Hopefully. But yeah, you can see the town is basically mustering to defend things. There's lights everywhere. One of the buildings is at least is on fire as you guys are closing up and heading to bed. But the next morning, you and you finish an- reanimating your uh, spell. You can see uh, black smoke uh, sullying the the beautiful pink dawn. As you guys head towards <laughs> <laughs> the city, time to leave. I'm a little sad at losing Handy, but this, you know, he's a rabid dog. Mm. Replace him with a rabid dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, these are mindless rabid dogs. I don't have to worry about them turning on. Even better. Mm-hmm. All right, you tuck the two werewolves into the hole and head off. Oh, right. Uh, and uh, I guess that's uh, we'll call it quits for night. And after you finish empty call thing, I'll, I'll do, throw out some loot. I'm sorry. What was that? Say, so, well, we can call it quits for night. And after you stop the recording, I'll just tell you what your loot is off the oh, bed. Word, word. Werewolves. Oh, well, then let's turn this recording off real quick. Weird hey, wolves. Why don't we want to record the loot? Because it's, it's boring. boring. <laughs> we'll talk about but, the cool stuff. But let's afterwards. say. Let's say we record it, and you don't have to put it in the episode, and that way you don't forget what we have. Well, I'm about to go walk off and go smoke. Yeah, yeah. You know, I gotta pee. I'll, I'll get to the point where we're like, we're gonna cut this out, and then I won't listen to it while we're while I'm editing. <laughs> 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 anyway, then. good night, everyone. Bye.